So I love this argument so much from uh, all of these butthurt individuals that say that because you are a professional, you discredit yourself because you're not implementing those exact same strategies for yourself. Because why would you give away all of your secrets for free if you understood the way of uh, being able to apply it all and keeping all of that return for yourself? Now, this particular guy is the same guy who commented on one of my videos around the small business CGT concessions, saying that the better strategy was to sell your home, uh, your principal place of residence, capital gains tax free. Uh, my rebuttal to that was, well, you can't eat your home. And his response was, well, you can't eat your business until you sell it. Have you ever heard of business profits? The idea of being able to derive profit from your business is actually how you eat from your business. You don't derive any profit from your principal place of residence until one day you eventually sell it and you've also got to have somewhere to live. He then tried to rebuttal saying, oh, have you not heard about a reverse mortgage? The idea that you are providing the deed to your, uh, your home to the bank, making no repayments at incredibly high interest rates at the moment, about 9.65%, that essentially when you die, you are basically allowing the bank to take your property and to sell it, and to many cases, not provide the full amount of proceeds to your family. I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem like great advice. Now, I digress. Now, the idea is that as a financial advisor, that you should be implementing all of these strategies for yourself. Now, I do implement these strategies for myself. Now, I have an eight-figure business. Now, I've actually just sold one of my businesses for $2 million. We're in the process of selling another one for over five. Um, my current bank balance as it stands is just shy of about a million dollars. My personal wealth is about $3.5 million uh, as of today's date. Now, even though I have achieved all of these milestones, I have a finite amount of means, and I have the ability to help people implement the exact same strategies to grow and scale their business, to be able to sell those businesses, to acquire other businesses, and to create financial freedom for themselves and their family. And it would be remiss of me to keep all of that skill, all of that knowledge, all of that experience to myself and not help people. Now, back to my original point of the idea that you need profit and cash flow in order to be able to fund your lifestyle, um, the idea is that I run a business. My business produces profit, which provides me with the ability to continue to supplement my lifestyle, to continue to achieve the things that I want to achieve. And selfishly, uh, that's what people do, right? We're in a capitalist system. You're rewarded commensurate to the value that you add to society. And the idea that I would just reserve the amount of capital that I have available continue to invest that and build that uh, for the purposes of my own uh, gains is one thing, but the ability for me to be able to monetize my skill set by helping others. And if you do a quick Google search of me uh, and you look at all of our client case studies, we've got hundreds and hundreds of client success stories that uh, have been able to implement these strategies with amazing results. So it is a triple win scenario. The first win is that our clients win. The second wing is that I've, I employ over 40 individuals and them and their families all win as a result of being able to be an employer and provide them with opportunities to be able to help our clients and uh, provide for their families. And I win because I've been able to create a business that has created so much value for society that I am rewarded uh, in the cases of multiple seven figures as a result uh, of that value that I create. So uh, maybe have a little bit of an idea of how economics work. Uh, how society works, how business works, before you make these kinds of comments. You just butt hurt because I tore you down uh, in uh, your previous posts. Just uh, accept the fact that you've been defeated and uh, your small-minded, scarcity-based views of wealth don't actually work. If you actually listened, you might learn something. I'll catch you later.